Last year, I reviewed one of the latest keyboards from HyperX, and I gave it a pretty good review, but after a few months of using it, I realized it was just too big, and the RGB lighting was way too bright. So I decided to look for a brand new keyboard, something smaller, and something that won't take up as much space on my desk. I ended up finding this keyboard. It is called the Keychron K2. So I had this keyboard for a few months now. I bought it back in January. It is now June. So I've been using it for about six months. So just a quick note, I bought this keyboard on my own. It was not given to me to review. I wanted a keyboard that was smaller, but I didn't want one that looked like a toy. And a lot of the smaller keyboards out there, they look like toys. They look like they're made of plastic. And they look like if I drop it one time, it will break in half. And when I was browsing around on Amazon, I saw that this one had a metal frame and that immediately caught my attention. And when I finally got the keyboard in my hands, I can feel that it has the right weight that I was looking for. It's not too heavy, it's not too light. Overall, I'm pretty happy with how solid this keyboard is. And another feature I was looking for is Bluetooth. I just wanted to have that option to go wireless if I choose to, and this one has it. There's a switch on the left hand side, so you can switch between Bluetooth mode and wired mode. And since we're taking a look at the left hand side, you can see that there is a USB-C port that is for charging. The keyboard has a built-in battery that should last for up to seven days, but in my testing, it lasted about four or five days before I needed to charge it again. But the other switch on the left-hand side is to switch between Mac and Windows. If you're using an Android device, you can just leave it on Windows and it will work. And you can connect up to three devices with Bluetooth. The F5 and F6 keys, those are used to change the brightness of 7, 8, and 9. Those are your playback keys. And F10, 11, and 12, those are your volume keys. Then you got your screenshot button. One of the small downsides to this keyboard, some of the buttons are smaller or they're in a different position. It takes a while to get used to, but eventually you will get used to it. There is no software that you need to download to control the RGB software. You just tap this button multiple times and that cycles through all the effects. So that's really good. No software I need to install. That can be a little bit annoying to deal with, especially with gaming keyboards. The model that I have uses the red switches, which is lightweight. It's very responsive. It's great for typing and has a nice feel to it. It's not too clicky. It's not too loud. I think it's the right balance for me. If you prefer to have that clickiness to it, that sound and that clicky feel, then I would recommend going with the blue switches. There is a part of me that wishes I went with the blue, but I'm pretty happy with the red because it's quiet. I can work late in the night and not disturb everyone around me. All right, that about does it for my review on the K2 Wireless Mechanical Keyboard. I don't think that there's anything that I would change with this keyboard. I think I would leave it as is. Like I mentioned, I paid for this keyboard. This is not a sponsored video. If you told me all the features that I want in a keyboard, this is it. USB Type-C, Bluetooth, mechanical, small, but has a nice weight to it. There is one downside to this keyboard, and that is the price. I paid about $100 for this keyboard. So that price is a little bit at a premium. There are other mechanical keyboards that are this size and have some of the same features, but they don't look good and they don't feel great. It might sound weird to pay more for how a keyboard feels, but again, this is your productivity. This is your gaming experience. You don't want to have something that feels cheap. So I think it's worth it. If you're interested in this keyboard, it is available now on Amazon and you can find a link in the description below.